The damage done to this building is a stain on all of us and on the dignity of our democracy. The attack we saw had a purpose. Stop the certification. Stop our democratic process. Fortunately, they did not prevail. We showed you that the insurrectionists were deliberate, that they came looking for Vice President Pence and Speaker Pelosi ready to kill. When President Trump incited a lawless mob to attack our process, he was attacking our democracy. He was trying to become king and rule over us against the will of the people and the valid results of the election. What if President Trump had been successful? What if he had succeeded in overturning the will of the people and our constitutional processes? Who among us is willing to risk that outcome by letting Trump's constitutional crimes go unanswered? The founders included impeachment in our Constitution not as a punishment, but to prevent. We have to prevent every president, today, tomorrow, or at any time in the future, from believing that this conduct is acceptable. Today, we have to stand up for our democracy and ensure we remain a country governed by the people, for the people, by telling Donald Trump and people all across this country and all across the world that his crimes will not and cannot stand.